Welcome back to another video and today we will be talking about the newest makeup announcements and releases. So welcome back and as you have probably noticed we have been a bit on a break in terms of long-term content. I was traveling the past week so for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram I was uh, in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, this was actually my first time traveling to the country and I have to say altogether it was a very nice and nice trip and especially when you always visit the new place it's quite interesting and we were there for quite a decent time so that we actually had the opportunity to go also outside of the city for one day so we were able to also see how a sea sort of life outside of the capital so it was also pretty pretty fun and I did get some makeup products from the from my trip and uh, I think I'm planning to film a shorts of some kind just showing quickly what I got from got from the got from Dublin but um, I don't think I'll be making a separate video because those products will eventually make it also to my sort of uh, collective makeup haul videos that I do 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 on my channel but anyway that was a bit about housekeeping and where have i been and now let's actually get talking about the newest makeup releases and i do think that what there's been how should i say we are getting very many christmas releases and considering that it's now december uh sorry not december september what i'm talking about so uh, it's now September and it's quite a long time to December and we're already like getting most of these releases announced which means that they are actually probably gonna be on the stores quite soon so I think we will be see having like this seems to get earlier and earlier every year so I think what we will be seeing now is that most brands will announce their holiday releases and we will actually be able to already like buy them during this month or October the latest so yeah that's just something to consider but let's now actually get to this like new stuff that has been announced while I was away. So let's get my phone out so we can uh, get to the products and there are a few products here because I do film these every other week so there's also some like older stuff that's may already like may have launched. So first thing that I was quite in, quite excited about and now I'm actually going to move myself a bit so um, you will get the, as always the photos somewhere here. So uh, Angelica Newquist's brand Singe Beauty has released their first makeup product. So Singe Beauty has released previously uh, brushes and uh, also I think the latest release before this one had this sort of, was there like a powder or puff or something in the release? I think there might have been, but this is now the first like makeup item. So Singe Beauty has come out with blushes. These I believe this has already launched on the Singe Beauty's own website, but if you are in Europe and looking to buy these, these are going to be on Monolith Shop's uh, September launch and I believe they will be have they have announced that their next launch day is on 15th of September so if you're someone who shops from Monolith I would already go and check the website because I do think they have announced most of the stuff that will be on the 15th of September launch but uh, regarding the blushes I think there was like four shades because uh, Angie has told herself that she self finances her brand so this means that she can't like make multiple of different kinds of products at once because uh, she I think she has been pretty good as a brand own owner talking about that she has to pay everything up front so, so it limits how much she can release on one launch. Uh, in terms of blushes, uh, the peachy pink one is something that I am a bit eyeing on but I'm gonna be honest after especially shopping during my holiday trip to Dublin I'm a bit like uh, makeup exhausted or something I think would be the term of it. So I'm currently not exactly looking to buy makeup during September so uh, if these are I do think these blushes might be some might be a sellout product when these will launch on monolith shop so uh, I will have to consider do I want to make an order because I have checked other stuff that's gonna launch in monolith shop monolith's next launch alongside with these ones I'm and I'm not so excited about other stuff and I don't want to make an order just for one single blush shade but uh, if I would have to do, choose the pinky peach shade would be the one that I would like pick from these but um, as I said, if you live in Europe, you will have to wait a couple of weeks and then these will be available on Monolith's own website. And uh, I do think if you're in the US, you can buy them from Singe Beauty's own website. Uh, next one. So Colourpop has released some new lipsticks. So these are... What are these? Our Power Pout Long Wearing Lipstick is a comfy cushiony formula that gives intense payoff in one swipe. So I do think this is supposed to be a matte kind of lipstick based on the description and I think few of the promo images that I've seen. Uh, the shade range, I mean, I think it's quite basic and um, I'm now thinking that I think Colourpop previously they have had like satin bullet lipsticks on their line so it does kind of make sense that they do want to expand into bullet matte lipstick so if you have been wanting bullet matte lipstick from Colourpop I think these have already also launched. 
Next, a Halloween lunch. Uh, Halloween is a celebration that's not celebrated where I live. That is why I don't cover a lot of Halloween releases because those are just not something that interests me. But I did want to point this one out because I do know that this is a franchise that does have a lot of uh, sort of fans. So NYX came out with the Halloween collection with Beetlejuice and I do think they might be like remaking this film or something so that is why they are like uh, they probably did the collaboration. Uh, this is already I've seen this available. Uh, I do think this is available on states in multiple retailers but I have also seen for example in Europe Boozy Shop is a website that I have seen this long being launched upon. Uh, there's nothing again that interests me but this is purely because of the theming Halloween not something that I'm interested in so that's why this is an easy, easy skip for me but if you're a fan of Nukes or a fan of the franchise then this is again a launch that's already available. Then uh, Makeup Revolution who has been doing quite well in terms of the fact that they don't release big collections anymore but they have come out now with a collaboration but I do have to give them credit this is a collaboration like for I don't even remember when was the last time they did a collab. So this is the Mean Girls collaboration and uh, within this collaboration there is an eyeshadow palette, there's a mini gift set, there are lip glosses, there's a cheek palette and then uh, there might be some merch items. Uh, I would be very curious, I've been now testing out the sort of new iconic eyeshadow palettes that Makeup Revolution has come out with. Those will be included in my collective eyeshadow palette review that I think I will be doing next week or week after that. And uh, there's definitely been a formula change, so I would be now very curious because I couldn't tell from based on the chest promo images of the palette and the videos that does the eyeshadow palette in this collection have now the new formula that I do think is a bit better or does it have the sort of old quite mediocre formula that was basically had nothing to write home about. I think the most interesting thing for me in this was the blush palette, but uh, altogether Mean Girl is not again a franchise that I'm a fan of, fan of and I never, I don't think I ever watched the was it a show or a movie? I'm really now showing that I this isn't something that I've been very interested in. But anyway, so I never watched the, watched this uh, sort of uh, program, so I don't have an attachment to it, and uh, I don't think there was anything in this that uh, made me want to think that oh, I really want to buy buy this. But this is already available on Revolutions on website, and I think also in the other retailers. So um, Maybelline has actually announced something pretty in pretty interesting. So this is the Super Stay Teddy Tint. Uh, I think this is a meant to be a lip tint, and I do believe this has been launched in Asia. So lip tints are popular in Asia, so I kind of get it. However, this looks quite matte when you look at the promo images that are included in this photo. Uh, I am a bit interested in this one because I have tried their liquid lipstick, uh, the Super Ink Stay or what, what's it called, however I hated that. I know for some that's like the best drugstore lipstick ever. For me that was just awful, it was quite hard to layer, it got really crumbly on my lips and I just wasn't a fan of the formula. However this formula kind of looks like it could be maybe a bit better and I do actually like the shades that are included in this one. I have no idea when this is going to land in Europe because I haven't, for example, seen this in like my Maybelline retailer. So I'll have we'll have to wait and see. Uh, recently, the foundation that uh, the luminous found, luminous matte foundation actually has now come to European retailers. So it could me indicate that this might also make it at some point because the foundation was also something that was originally like Asia exclusive. Uh, Makeup by Mario has a uh, couple of new base products, so there's a setting spray spray and some setting powders. Uh, this is a brand that's not, uh, unfortunately, is not that accessible to me. I could get it maybe from a couple of online retailers, but those aren't, again, retailers that I primarily would like to like order from. So this is just something, and because I am not, I don't think I will be visiting a country that has Sephora anymore this year. So um, yeah, I don't think this is a, the the powder or the setting spray are products that I would be buying. But if you are interested, the powder is thirty eight dollars and the setting spray is thirty seven, sorry thirty four US dollars. So for Sephora brand, these are actually pretty decently priced. They aren't like in the highest. Category. So if you're a fan of Makeup by Mario and you have been wanting more base products from the brand, now there are there's a loose setting powder and a setting spray and also there seems to be a powder puff included. 
Mm, some indie releases. So Odensai has actually done something pretty, what I would say, clever. So they are promoting their sort of uh, individual shadows uh, in sort of new... I, do, I don't know, are these like limited edition cases, but they have sort of like uh, made pre-made color stories. And because these are bundled, I think this is like it's cheaper to buy the individual shadows in these cases uh, than if you would buy them separately. Uh, I do. I was like initially thinking that well, is this an indication that the single shadows haven't really sold that well? I was actually pretty surprised because they recently, in the beginning of this year, they did extend their single shadow range, and I was thinking that are these really se really selling that well that it was worth to like extend the line. But um, I do think that based on just seeing the, how the color stories are formed, I do actually think this is a pretty smart release. I was definitely eyeing the Freya themed single eyeshadow, she eyeshadow set, which has the sort of like, uh, how would I call this, a green pinkish uh, wipes to it. So I actually did for a moment think that more, would this actually be the format that I would like to try these single shadows in. If you have collected these like single shadows before from Odinside previous launches, then it's obviously not worth getting these. But um, if you're looking to get a deal and you these uh, some these ready-made color stories appeal to you, then this could be a good way to try the Odinside single shadows. <laughs> So Moira is uh, having another sort of blush release. Uh, I think this is now the third liquid blush or cream blush formula that Moira has. So these are the New Soft Blush Balm blush blush blushes by Moira. These are $8.50 each. I haven't yet seen these. Or did this already come in Boozy Shop's own website? I'm not sure, sure but uh, if you live in New York, wait for Boozy Shop to stock these because uh, they definitely will be available on the site. Uh, but this is like I was thinking that it's a bit, it's a bit overkill because uh, they have the sort of uh, cream blush in the sort of like square compact, the ones that I have featured in my channel once, and then they have them also in the sort of tube, tube kind of packaging. So I was thinking that now this sort of rounded dome kind of packaging, I think the house lab blushes, house lab blushes might have come come in the similar format. So I'm just thinking that is this like bits excessive uh, considering that they already like have liquid blushes in like two other formats but um if you like your blush application with this kind of format then these are available on Moira's website and because it's Moira these are actually pretty decently priced. I don't think the blush shades are really that anything different from their other liquid like blushes that they have come out before. <laughs> So um, Sigma is actually coming out with something interesting and I think this might have been leaked like accidentally and then Sigma was like for, uh, forced to release this. So Sigma is coming out with a collaboration with The Little Mermaid and uh, I do have to say in terms of color story this is like I think the most exciting thing that I have seen from more, uh, Sigma for a while. I think the Alice in Wonderland palette was the previous Sigma palette where I went like that. Oh, that's actually like something pretty interesting. Uh, I did like the sort of uh, neutral palette that Sigma, Sigma came out earlier this year. Still haven't bought it, but um, that I did like the sort of twist on neutrals that I did. But anyway, in this uh, Little Mermaid collection, there's going to be a palette. It's going to be pretty colorful, but that's pretty like on theme if you have watched the Disney's Little Mermaid. There are lip glosses and what other things? The collection includes a 17 pan eyeshadow palette with a seascape inspired array of mattes and shimmers as well as lip trio and creamy shimmer finishes. So the palette will retail at $59, so in euros if this comes to beauty pay it's going to be a bit over 60 euros I think and the lip trio is $42, which in euros again I think there's going to be a bit of a hike so it's got to be probably around the 50 euro mark. Uh, I definitely say that the most interesting part of this is the eyeshadow palette and especially considering that Sigma isn't necessarily known for doing colorful things so I am pretty interested to see reviews of this palette and how it will perform. So Armani Beauty I think is fulfilling gaps in their sort of cheek uh, product collection so they have now extended the Luminous Silk uh, line with Luminous Silk Aqua Liquid Highlighter so this is basically another very variation of a liquid highlighter in a sort of dove with like application applicator. Um, the highlighter shades are quite basic. Um, these are probably also going to be expensive because these are Armani. Uh, not something that I'm particularly in the need of, but if you are a fan of the Luminous Silk uh, line in, with our money, then this could be something to look into. But uh, I'm not in the need of a very expensive high-end uh, highlighter at the moment, so it's an easy skip. 
So we have now more shades of the Gucci highlighter. So I have featured this because Angel Naked One had one picture of the lilac highlighter some time ago. But now we have gotten more shades. So there seems to be, and I was like correct when I said in the video that I do think that the purple highlighter wasn't the only one. So there seems to be one pale white highlighter, there seems to be one peach, one, one reddish leaning and one very like deep brown one for deeper skin tones and then we have the purple one. I'm still not so sure is this the whole shade range of these highlighters, but this already like looks like it's covering quite a lot of like different uh, skin tones and undertones. Uh, probably if I would have to say which would be interested in, because the photo is making this look a bit like... Um, this actually in the photo makes, that I have from makes these looks actually more like powders rather than highlighters, but... Uh, I think the like, I think the Moorish one might be too, too deep for me, but uh, in terms of like uh, highlighter shades, that's the one that's catching my eye from this. The, I think the lilac one is just like, I I have one purple highlighter from Be Perfect and that's quite enough purple highlighter. I still don't know how are these, how are these actually described. Gucci Beauty will be releasing the new Glow Powder Gel Highlighter. So they are actually a hybrid formula between a gel and a powder. So I assume these are, might be actually a bit like squishy when you push the pan. Uh, and these are going to be $59 each. So um, I think I'm out at this point. I don't need a $59 highlighter. But uh, keep your eyes on Gucci retailers. And if you really want to spend the money on these. I mean the packaging looks quite nice also. So next one, uh, P. Louise has announced, uh, I think, two new products. So there are these uh, sets of uh, lip liners and then they have this sort of a double-sided lip palette. And if you or ordered the budget bo box, which will ship on September, then you will be, uh, we, then you will be getting by random one variation of the lip palette and one variation of the lip liners. So if you have ordered the budget box, which will which will ship on September, I would wait and see because uh, if you just order this and then you get the budget box, there's a risk you will get doubles. Uh, because it was randomized which one you could get from the three option in terms of the lip liner set and the lip palettes, uh, I didn't like, this was not a budget box that I wanted to order. There was also the fact that the other product that was included in the budget box was also like, there were like three different variations. I was like thinking that, yeah, I'm not liking my odds in terms of the fact that there was quite a lot of like chances of randomness in terms of the budget box uh, for the, uh, that was going to be shipped this month. But uh, in terms of the lip liner sets, uh, I haven't, I have checked on the website. I think they were around 26 or 27 euros. They weren't like I was expecting because there comes quite a lot of lip liners. So there's like three sets. There's one like a browns, one is nudes and one's like reds. And I do think that actually if you just need a starting collection of lip li liners in certain tones, this actually could be a good deal because actually there comes quite a many lip liners in one of the bags. Uh, the lip palettes I was quite tempted, uh, not because I would use these as lip products, but because actually I was looking at the sort of pink neutral palette and I was thinking that some of those shades would make excellent uh, contouring and bronzing shades and blush shades. However, because this is primarily meant to be a lip formula, I was thinking that yeah, it kind of looks nice and the packaging is actually quite nice because it comes in this sort of thin, uh, thin packaging that represents a card. But uh, then I was thinking that uh, if it's meant to be primarily a lip formula, then it necessarily doesn't sit down on your cheek. So that's the reason why for now I haven't like ordered either of this. Though. The lip liner set that has the pink nudes, that could be something that maybe at the end of the year when I, I could maybe get, because my, some of my lip liners are actually getting to the point where I will probably have to declutter them because they are getting quite old. But yeah, I think that if you are especially looking to like a, you just need a like set of lip liners in certain tones, the lip liner sets could actually be a good a good deal. But if you have a lot, a lot of lip liners, then please don't buy these in sets. <clears throat> so we are getting more Christmas holiday releases 2024. And uh, it seems indeed that white and gold is the theme to go because we saw already this kind of packaging with the YSL release. And now we have the first sneak peek of the Dior holiday collection. And uh, my guess is that uh, this isn't the only Dior products because Dior has a habit of that they release a bit different stuff in a bit different conti like continents. But uh, the two 
two releases that I have here. One is the smaller eyeshadow palette and one is a bigger palette that has the lip products and then there's eyeshadows and I think some of these are meant to work as cheek products but because cheek pa the pans are quite small you realistically won't fit the brush in there. Uh, these are both skip for me. I do actually like the packaging of this one. I do think that this is actually even a bit better than the YSL packaging but just that the color stories of either of these palettes aren't exciting and because these are the or these are my memory serves, cor serves correct these are pretty expensive usually. So another holiday release which I would say that I was thinking that wow Hourglass really can't release anything new anymore. So Hourglass is again coming out with three variations of uh, these uh, palettes that they do in terms of cheap products and I can't again tell that are any of these shades actually new or are they just again recycling mostly old shades. I do have to say I actually did like the theme of last year's holiday packaging when they had the different animals you could choose from because I do think that some of these are actually looking like more um, spring themed for some reason because for me when I saw these announced I was like those really don't look like Christmas or holiday packaging. I'm not saying that the animal packagings last year were any more Christmas or holiday but somehow this even fits less for the holiday theme. Uh, these are apparently coming on 3rd of September. If you don't have any Hourglass products, so uh, the only like only time I would recommend buying these big Hourglass palettes is that if you don't own any of the cheek products and you want to like get a palette that has a variety of the different kind of cheek formulas that they have, then I would actually get this because then you get better value for money than buying the shades individually. But if you have a lot of Hourglass uh, cheek products, then I would skip these because just, this is just like getting old at this point. Like Hourglass has been doing this now so many years that it, you can't really like anymore tell that are these palettes new or old ones. Uh, we are having two releases from Kiko that I will be talking about. So first is that they are expanding their 3D Hydra Lip Gloss line. So they are actually going to be bringing lip oils now. And uh, with these ones I was thinking again the same that, that I was thinking with the Fenty lip oils that were released with the Fenty summer collections that what the lip oil looked quite uh, quite nice. The finish of it really didn't differ from the li uh, lip glosses and I'm actually thinking pretty much the same with this Kicker release. That these really, at least based on what I see, the finish of these doesn't really look that different from the 3D lip glosses that they already have in different kind of finishes in their line. So. Um, this is probably something that I will skip, even though these 3D lip glosses are generally one of my favorite products from Kiko. And uh, these are, I think, already available. And I think there's like uh, four shades that they are launching initially. But uh, I think if you have a lot of the Kiko's uh, lip glosses, you probably don't need these lip oils. Uh, second uh, release is that they are apparently coming out with a new skin hybrid blurring tint foundation. Uh, this is a skin tint, so for me this is an automatic skip because I do need something a bit more higher coverage. But um, uh, if you are someone shopping from Kiko and you have been thinking that their foundations have been heavy, then I think this is also supposed to be available. Apparently uh, skin 01, 02, 05 and 07 are your shade names. This is a shade extension or really a new release. It, they, it is saying that this is the uh, this is a new release. Yeah, uh, this I think is already also available on uh, Kiko's own website and also there on retailers. Then a brand that I don't think we have heard of heard anything from for a long time. So Hindash, which uh, uh, Hindash has been a bit quiet. I think it's been almost like what over a year because I think the last release Hindash had was that they had the lipsticks and two lipsticks and two lip liners were the, like the I think the last launch I remember from the brand. So they are uh, Hindash is coming out with the hybrid gel powder highlighter formula and apparently this is supposed to mimic pure light on the skin. Uh, I think there's going to be, a, based on the description, three shades and this is actually going to be... Actually, this is supposed to be available now on Hindish's website in the day. I'm filming this on the 1st of September, so apparently this is now actually available when the video goes live. I do have to say the shade that uh, kind of looks like gold and peach mixed together, that actually looks quite nice, like I think I could be... Could be interested in that, but with Hindish, it's again a brand that... Um, 
I do think that they brought products to Beauty Bay and called Beauty, but just because the brand has not been releasing for such a long time, I don't know uh, are these exactly going to come out to other retailers or are these something that's going to be initially available only on their, their own website. But uh, if you were looking to buy a highlighter from the brand, these are now available at least on the brand's own website. So, Dennis Myricks has released new Lightwork palette. So this is the Lightwork 6 Freedom palette. And uh, is this a Pride release or is it just... Um, hard to say. But um, anyway, as you can see, this is a rainbow special shade palette. I'm thinking that because she has come out with so many of these Lightwork palettes that art is actually getting a bit repetitive because a lot of the previous Lightwork palettes have also been quite like big. There's been quite many shades which actually have been also kind of good so people can get more value for their money. But if you have collected a lot of these I would maybe see that do you actually already kind of have these shades from the previous launches because uh, considering like uh, if you've been buying a lot of indie, pa indie special shade palettes, then obviously you might already have these. But also if you have just collected the Dennis Myricks' own like Lightworks palettes, then it also could be that you just have all of these. Also for me, this like I don't need this because I have so many indie shadows in my collection. But also these are pretty like jewel tone deep sort of shimmers. So the shimmer tones of these shimmers aren't also something like that I'm primarily like interested in. Uh, if you are looking to buy this, this is going to be available September on 7th, at least on the Nessamagrus' own website, and if you live in uh, States, at least then Sephora. Uh, it's going to be priced 128 US dollars, so it's probably also in Euros going to be quite expensive. So if you are looking into the, to buying this, just make the consideration that do you already have something similar in your collection, because spending over 100 euros for one palette that's a lot of money money or 100 or or 100 dollars either way that's again a lot of money spent on single palette so i think the last two releases of today will also be holidays so two faced uh, holiday release this year is actually looking to be surprisingly small i think we all remember two faced from the fact However, actually, I'm not going to say anything because it could be that this is just the first batch. Because uh, usually what Too Faced has had is that they're, they have had different releases for the US Sephora's and US Altas, and then also to the European retailers, depending on the retailer, again, they have had like different stuff. So this could be just the first batch of the many. But if this is the only thing Too Faced is coming out this year, then I'm actually going to like give them credit for actually being manageable this year. And maybe these could actually be quality products because a big issue with the Too Faced holiday releases also has been that because they have released so much, I think a lot of people have said that the quality of holiday products hasn't been that great. But the products that uh, have been announced are two small uh, eyeshadow palettes, so these are quints, and then there is the face palette. I'm actually going to say that the face palette is kind of tempting me. Uh, I don't really need another face palette, but um, something about the face palette is, for some reason, I don't really need this. Uh, the eyeshadow quince both are just an easy, easy skip, but the face palette for me is like the most interesting and the interesting part of this one. What are the eyeshadow palettes really? Fifty nine, fifty nine US dollars. That's uh, your your gem three piece eye makeup set. So a three piece eye makeup set would then indicate that there is something else because. All I'm seeing in this photo are the eyeshadow palettes and the face palette. But if it says that it's a eye, I like said, okay, I'm I was too too quick to talk. Actually, now when you scroll, yeah, okay. So uh, if you look this online, uh, uh, I would advise going online to make up on Raiders account and check in because you do have to scroll. So in the eye set, because I was already thinking that there's no way that queen eyeshadow five piece eyeshadow queens are actually more expensive than the face palette. But the face palettes will, the so, sorry, eye palettes will include then eyeshadow palette and apparently two of their mascaras. It seems that the better than six, and then there's the, I think the other variation of the same mascara in the black tube is included. Well, that actually like makes much more sense. Now I was already thinking that, yeah, like Too Faced has what have been they like do, thinking that uh, pricing the like queens for 59 US dollars. Uh, the face palette is 39 US, going to be 39 US dollars. That's I think is pretty on par with their pricing. But yeah, I don't be shocked if you just see these uh, images of these palettes and then you see the price tag. So with the eyeshadow palette, there's actually going to be like uh, two of the mascaras coming also in the same set. So that actually like makes more sense now. 
Then for the last release of today, and this is also a holiday release, so this is uh, apparently Prada's holiday collection and um, <clears throat> how should I say this? Uh, this kind of looks like the same vibes as the YSL in terms of color stories, though the YSL actually was pretty gold heavy, so the Prada's... Uh, is this a quad or a queen's quad? So the Prada Squad does actually have, there's like a burgundy shade, there's silver, then there's gold, and then there's actually the nice looking like pink more shade. Okay, I'm actually gonna go back, this doesn't actually look anything like the YSL palette, because the YSL palette had just brown and golds. Uh, there seems to be two lip products, and then their lip balm are also gonna include it. Uh, I can't really tell from the packaging that is this gonna be actually in any kind of special edition packaging, because based on the image these products look like that they are in the same packaging that the other product stuff comes from. Uh, Prada Beauty is not something that's available for me to buy, so this is an easy skip, also this is probably gonna be expensive. If you are looking to buy this, this is actually gonna launch November 6th, so this is actually gonna be coming out quite, I'd say, late, considering probably when other releases, other holiday releases are coming. But um, if you like Prada Beauty and you want to get this, you will have to wait in the beginning of November. But yeah, I think that was actually it for today. That all. So I'd say it was quite of an holiday heavy, heavy week. Uh, I'm a bit afraid at this point if we're getting the holiday releases so intensely already that are we gonna have anything to talk about when we actually get to the end of October? Because it truly really seems that the brands are now just like releasing the pictures of their holiday stuff and probably going to bring them quite early in the market. So it could be actually that we will already have by the time we get to maybe to the November, October time, we could actually be having pretty quiet time. Or at worst, we're already gonna get the like the products that are com gonna come out in the beginning of 2025. So that's also hey, an option. But uh, I say this uh, week was uh, like the products for a couple of weeks. Uh, there wasn't anything aside from the Singe Beauty blushes. There really isn't anything like that interesting that I'm now looking to buy. And as I said, I'm a bit like makeup tired at the moment because I did buy quite decent amount of makeup when I was traveling. So I also don't think that currently I need more makeup. I have plenty to test out for the upcoming month. But uh, comment down below to the video. What did you think about the makeup releases? Was there some? Was there a new release that you're interested in that I didn't discuss about? So let us also know about that one. If you liked this video, push the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell button if you want to get notifications for my future content. You can also find me with the same nickname, Makeup Hedgehog, on Instagram. I hope I will be seeing you again soon in another video. Bye bye.